What's up, y'all? Y'all doing? This is Ken, you know, doing the Firebird 1970 Phoenix, the True Phoenix rebuild. Today is uh, March, Ides of March 2019, and uh, I'm coming out in the garage. The, the weather is breaking now, and so I'm coming out to the garage to figure out. Uh, I need to paint that, don't I? That needs to be painted. Yeah. You got to paint that, brother. <laughs> I don't care if you put clear paint on it. You got to paint that. That has to be painted. That is exposed. That's just asking to be rusted. What the hell is that? You what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at that. That mother of a hubble there ain't even tight. That ain't tight. All of these are not tight. I went to the bottom ones are tight. I'm gonna go just one. Those are some of the things that I can do while I'm in this place before I put the engine here because I think I'm gonna sign over another lease for another year. The Lord let me live long enough. So tomorrow or this this weekend, I'm hoping to uh, come out here and make sure that these are on correct, I'm, and I'm gonna send them other ones back. I wonder if they'll take them back. <laughs> it's been a long time since I bought them. All I gotta do is, say, hey man, I never used this. Would y'all consider taking these back? They say, oh yeah, we take them at half price. I'm gonna give it to them. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Take these. I'm gonna make sure that these are right. These are wrong. These are incorrect. I don't know if I showed you that. I showed it on the other video. Um, in case you didn't see it, these are incorrect. And this is my mug. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, kids? And. Uh, I got one bolt, I need to get another bolt, but I'm not gonna put that engine in tomorrow. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is, if the Lord let me, I'm gonna take these out, put them on if it's necessary. If it's not necessary, I'm gonna lay these jokers just like they are. You know, I'm not gonna even weld them in there or anything, I'm just gonna leave them just like that. <laughs> because they've been, they was like this, how long? Let me see. When did I put them things in there? Oh, I, I've never gone on a long distance with these. I've gone a long distance, but not since I've put them back in here. I mean, since it's been all bent up like this. Long distance I went in was with that 350 I had in here. I'm going to make sure. That I, I'm willing to bet that instead of these, so, these being so close to the chassis, these are supposed to be out that way. That's that's how that's supposed to work. It's great that I even tried to figure that out. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Take these off. Take these off. I want to make sure a lot of things are painted like this. That needs to be painted. It's just I remember I I, I cleaned these up really good, and I never did anything else with them. I just cleaned them up. And I think also I'm going to, did y'all hear my knees popping? Make sure that everything that, that may not have been rust proofed. I'm going to make sure them jokes are rust proof, man. That need to be rust proofed. Of course, all that's done is just dirt. Those bolts, main thing, those bolts. Spray them. I'm gonna paint them. I think I'm gonna spray them. I mean, I'm not gonna pull out the chassis saver. I don't wanna open it up again. Unless I can get a small amount. Because I would like to do this. My sandblaster, I can't use it anymore. It would be nice if I could. I might be able to hook up that little small one and sandblast, though. Maybe in small spurts, you know, enough to at least just clean it up. 
or rust proof these, rust proof this. Make sure these, well, you're not supposed to tighten this up until, that's the reason why I didn't tighten You're not supposed to tighten it up until you get the engine in there. <coughs> when you get the engine in there, then you tighten it up. Or tighten it up now, because if you don't, then it's going to stand high. And you put the engine in there, then you can either jack it up, tighten it up, jack, jack, jack it up, tighten it up, and then put it down, then tighten it up, and you can adjust it that way. Yeah, this, uh, you can see where I missed that paint job right there. Yeah, this, uh, that one, you know, you got it, all that has to be rust proofed. All that has to be rust proofed. All of this. A lot of things not tightened up, but that's all right. Still a friend of mine. This used to be the brace. Once again, I ain't doing nothing but documenting. That's all I'm doing, you know, because the kids, they're going to be the one to get this joker. I hope damn well they don't fight over it. So uh, maybe they might be able to work out a deal, but I don't really know how you're going to work it out. Because I know this movie called Rain Man. I think that their father left the car to... I don't know the story. You go out there and look at it. It's called Rain Man. Especially you, you young ones who are just babies now who have never been born. Yeah, this is the engine right here. I don't know how many minutes. How many minutes have I been going? Yeah, almost seven. Okay. The engine runs. <laughs> the engine runs, dog. It runs. This joker fits in the car just like it is. You saw it. You saw the video. It fits. It goes in there. It goes in there. Now the only thing I have to do is just dress it up and get it ready and just. And you know, I got to get the engine in. The engine in there. Now that transmission. Now I had to rebuild that trans. That transmission has a problem. I already know it does because I broke the. Uh, I broke the. What do you call those things? The clutches in them. I crushed them <laughs> when I was uh, putting it back. I had put it back together or something. I don't, I don't know why I was putting. I was putting the engine. I had. Had put the new, oh yeah, there were two things that happened. I don't know why I was inside of that thing. I had crushed it. What I did was I had crushed the uh, the pump. I had put it up there and put it up the you know, it's a precision instrument. And it went crack. So I had to go in there and replace the pump. Well, while I was in there replacing the pump, I broke one of the clutches. I don't know how many I broke. I wasn't videoing anything back then. That was way back in, let's see, 2006. 2006, I think. Yeah, I guess I could talk louder, but uh, I have my reasons. All this can be recommended. Now I'm talking to my people for doing affiliate. You know, these things, this Pittsburgh, whatever that thing, that could be recommended. I remember that's just the reason why I was the guy's name. Uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Pete. He said, I am not going to say the name. Y'all want to pay me, y'all can call me and pay me. You know, I've been trying to contact you, contact you. <laughs> Pete. Oh boy. He's on uh, SWRNC. He's a character. He was, he, he was a lot of help. Sure was. Anyway. I'll talk to y'all later. I know what I'm going to do tomorrow, and I uh, just want to let y'all know I'm not doing anything right now. The next move is to put this engine in and to be able to have the connections from here all the way inside of the car. Uh, to have the connections so that... Uh, When it's time to move it, all I gotta do is just turn that joke on and move it. So I'm gonna take care of this part first, and then after I take care of this part, then I'm hoping to take care of the the brakes. 
Because, see, the car may have to move before it can start on its own. If I have to move it, then I don't, I don't need the brakes. So I'm going to get the brakes done. Well, I bet you I'm going to have to tow it somewhere and let them do it. Hey, man, I want you to put the brakes on this mother. <laughs> That's why I just think that I just might do that. Brakes, I mean, engines and stuff, I can deal with. You know, the precisions and bearings and all that stuff. But brakes, I've never been too good at brakes. I mean, I get them done. I've only had my brakes done maybe twice in my life. And when I say done, I mean change the pads. That's easy. You know, you change the pads, it's easy. But when you have to flush the system, or if you have to open up the system or something, man, getting that system all, that is a mess. It'd be cool if I can design the system myself, then take it to them and then have them to uh, check it out for me. That'd be a lot of fun, but it's just best to just take it to the shop and say, hey, man, put the braking system in be done with it. Oh man, we get we charge you five hundred dollars. I'll say, okay, well, I'll be willing to pay you five hundred bucks to put the damn brake system in just so long as the motherfucker can stop. <clears throat> That'd be cool. I should do that before I put the engine in. If they'll come get it, that'd be even better. If they can come get it. But I don't want them to know where it is. They've been to come over here and steal my damn car. It's the main reason why I don't take it anywhere, because I don't want anybody to know where it is. Of course, they can find me, you know, if they look at my videos. I wish those other people would come and take this thing away. Hey, y'all, hey, I'm going to let y'all go. You know, it's, let me see. Um, and also, I'm wondering, because see, I'm not really finished with this. I'm not really... I don't have this the exact way I want it, which is why I'm not putting this stuff on. I'm trying to figure out what, should I put these things on? Because the doors and all those other things, those jokers, those jokers are already. All I got to do, if I put these on, I don't want to put these on. Don't want to put those on. But, you know, other things, you know, little small things, you know, well, get all this I don't really care about that because I want to paint that. But anything that's off the car, like the trunk, you know, that that needs to go on. This this thing here needs to go on. And the bumper can stay off. I don't think I don't, I'm not really worried about that. But that'd be something nice to put on. But the other stuff is really heavy and really cumbersome to move. So if I can move it, put it on the car, and then as I'm moving it, then when I'm ready to paint it, just take them off again. Should be no big deal, you know. So I can't figure out what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. I know I have to do something to it. It's been sitting out here for two years now. Right here in this damn garage. I would like to get a larger garage. Just... Well, anyway, uh, doing what I got to do when I got to do. So you should you. Y'all take it easy and talk to y'all later. Okay? Yeah, this is Ken coming to you from Fire 1975 Bird, a true phoenix. Uh, I appreciate y'all hanging out and saying hello. Y'all take it easy and I'll come back at you one day. Check out all y'all. How y'all doing? You know, this has been a rough, 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 rough two years here with this car, man. Priorities have been changing since... Moved away from Pahrump. Look at that. See, that's not supposed to be like that. That that needs to be fixed. All of this needs to be. I think I just did that to hurry up and get it down. All that needs to be smoothed out. But I'll, I'll figure that out when I get the car running. And when I get the car running, when I get the car on brakes, get it registered. <laughs> Running and on brakes and registered. How long is that going to take me? Let me talk to y'all later, all right?